Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey everyone, BOMB Flyer here. And I'm going to show you how to clean up the mold lines and do a little bit of prep work for your new Catalyst plastic miniatures. I'm also going to demonstrate how to remove the miniatures from their bases as well as how to cut limbs and torsos for modding and repositioning. You're going to need the miniatures of course and some handy tools would be a hobby blade with a new or very sharp blade. I also like to use some of these straight razor blades from time to time. A emery board or nail file, fairly coarse, not, uh, not super smooth. And then I also like to have a brass bristle brush handy for cleanup as well. Be careful if you've never used a brass bristle brush on plastic miniatures and you go out and you buy a steel one. These are overkill, stick with the brass. Sometimes the uh, steel ones can damage the miniatures, so just be aware that you definitely want to use brass over steel. So you've got your miniature and you're looking over it and you find, oh hey, there's a couple of plastic lines from where the seams are that you don't like. The easiest way is to use a hobby knife and in a motion that I would say similar to maybe peeling an apple, you're going to scrape along the top of the line. And once you've got it clear, you can use the brass brush and that'll polish it down and smooth out the lines. You can go over all the, the whole thing or trim away stuff that you don't like. When it comes to removing the base, every base has two posts and those go into the feet. If you're not old enough to be using some of these sharp blades or go and buy them or whatever, you need to get an adult's help to do this because you can potentially hurt yourself pretty bad. I've got a good scar here from a razor blade. So I've also got a self-healing mat underneath to protect the surface I'm cutting on as well as provide a bit of grip while I'm cutting. I'm going to use this flat bladed razor to help get underneath the feet, but you can also use a hobby knife. Try to use the mat for leverage and support keep the blade flat and work. Sometimes it'll pop, sometimes you'll have to go all the way around. But you want to get all that glue out from underneath. And then once you have it out, apply some pressure until you've released it. Now on the bigger ones like this with the feet, I've found that if you get the glue kind of released, you may just be able to twist it off. There we go. So that's how you can get the bases off there. On smaller miniatures, like a locust, you're not gonna be able to do that. There's just the miniature will give before the base. So you'll have to go around the feet and remove it properly. The one I did want to show is for some reason they left this big old thing here underneath the bottom of this Wolverine's foot. So again, in this case, use the, use the mat or use something cut away from yourself. And I'm just gonna take this flat blade, similar, I would use my hobby blade. I'm just gonna follow the contour of the foot and just rock back and forth. And now I've got that freed up and the most of the post isn't even on there. So now you can just remove the, the foot the same way you did before. Now the emery board is good for, if you get a little bit of rough on the bottom of the foot, you can sand that down. It's also good if you want to use these bases for something else or you want to reuse them for sanding those down. I've had some questions about how easy it is to remove arms and legs and things like that. So the answer is yes and no, it's not difficult. Uh, they're put together with uh, super glue. However, this catapult, the, ar the arms were up like this. This arm, most of the post broke off. This one came out complete. So basically it just it just varies from model to model. So just keep that in mind. So on this one, I would much rather have had a clean cut right across. And on this one obviously is the best possible outcome is that it's literally just, you know, it goes right back in. So if I want to do anything with it, I can just do that. Now, if you want to repose a torso, for instance, I'll use this catapult because it's got a good little gap. Some of them are pretty close together. Again, I'm gonna grab my razor blade and there's a little bit of a gap down here and I'm just gonna follow that gap 
and trace as flush as possible to the bottom of the miniature. And now I've got a nice smooth surface so I can do a torso twist. Cover the locust real quick too. I was able to get the torso off by simply just going underneath and twisting, but I don't think, I think that was a one-off thing. So just keep that in mind that you're gonna have to probably use a hobby knife to get in there you know, and kind of cut with a sawing motion. I think that was just kind of a fortuitous little bit there when I pulled the arms off as well. I kind of had the same same thing happen. One stud came off completely, the other one was kind of damaged. So uh, again, you're gonna to wanna to kind of be prepared for that. And most of the time it's easier to have a nice clean cut and then put a pin and reset it if you're trying to move them around. But if you're if you go around trying to twist things off, you're gonna probably stress and damage the, the plastic. I wanted to reposition the legs on this Wolverine to make it a little bit different. And I'm simply just applying pressure, knowing I'm gonna tear and break the actual bond from where the leg plugs into the torso, but because there's no good way to get in there and actually cut, I just have to accept the fact that I'm gonna to have to damage it and then either cut it off completely when I have room and then add some putty in to fix it later. Thankfully, it's recessed, so it'll hide a lot of that and make it a lot easier to make it look normal once the position of the legs is achieved. Well, there you have it. That's how you can work with these plastic models to clean them up as well as cut them apart to mod and reposition. I hope you found this video useful. Give us a subscribe, like us on Facebook, Camo Specs Online. Give us any feedback, comments, or questions in the section below, and we'll see you next time. Shutdown sequence initiated.